Epic. Today for our artist focus, we are going to be focusing on an artist named Howardina Pindell. Um, and Howardina Pindell was born April 14th, 1943. Um, she's still alive today. And she is an African-American abstract artist from Philadelphia, which is in Pennsylvania. Um, after studying art in college, she worked at the Museum of Modern Art, um, which is MoMA, you might know it as that, and taught at the State University of New York, Stony Brook. After Pindell moved to New York, she began working with abstract shapes and collaging. She developed a unique style using layered dots or circles. Um, different sized hole punches are used to make dots from scrap paper, which she attaches to canvases in overlapping layers. Then she leaves the canvases unstretched and unframed and nails them to the wall for display. So today we are going to um, use uh, Pindell as inspiration to make our own um, circle collages uh, for ourselves. So let's dive into what we need for that. Okay, so there aren't many materials for today, which is great. You are going to need a white piece of paper. Um, I chose to use some thicker paper today uh, because I know I'm gonna be gluing on it. A pair of scissors, a pencil, glue, which I completely forgot to include in this picture, but you also need it. Um, some circular objects that you can trace to make your circles. So a few circular objects. Um, and then the most important thing is you're going to need some colorful scrap paper that you can use to cut out into your circle. So I chose to use painted paper. Um, and if you want a tutorial on making painted paper, I'll include that in the next slide of this Nearpod. But um, you could also use uh, scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, um, magazines that you have lying around, um, any kind of colorful scrap paper that you can find. Okay, so go ahead and gather those and then let's get started. So I made sure that I had a selection of colorful scrap paper that I was happy with and that had colors and patterns and textures that I would want to use in my collage. After you have that and you're satisfied with your paper options, you're going to flip the paper over onto the back, if it has one, and start tracing your circular objects. Now the reason you want to do it on the back is because that way your pencil line will not show up anywhere in your finished art. Um, so that's a good tip and trick of the trade. Um, and just try to get a few different circles per page, unless you only have a couple pages. Um, if I were to give it a number, I'd say try to have about 15 to 20 circles that you can collage with, right? guessed but after uh, tracing all of the circles it's time to cut them out so just take your time be patient with yourself here I know this is a longer process um, and of course I am speeding up my video into a time-lapse so it looks like I did it faster than I did but really it took me a while too and you can notice that um, my circles when I'm cutting them out they're no longer perfect circles and that's perfectly acceptable and realistic okay let's not fixate on um, having the most perfect circles but just focus on cutting them out the best that you can a lot of them will be covered by other circles anyway
cut out, I like to sort of loosely arrange them on the paper to see how I might want them to go. Um, don't get too attached to this version because you will be picking them up to glue them, which will move them. But I find it easiest uh, to visualize if I lay them out from biggest circles to smallest circles. So I kind of group them that way um, before laying them out, and then I just kind of laid them out loosely to see which colors I wanted to go where before I put glue on them. You don't have to do this. You can go straight to gluing, but it is an option for those who like to really have a visual idea of where they're going before starting with the glue. step uh, which is to glue down the circles um, and just like Howardina Pendel we're going to focus on overlapping the circles in a collage um, manner rather than just um, gluing them down as separate entities um, and I want to point out that I just did mine in a completely abstract shape, but um, Pindell and some of hers, we saw that she shaped uh, one of her pieces to look like the United, the shape of the United States. So you can, of course, um, design yours to be in a specific shape if you want. It doesn't have to be as abstract, or of course, it can be completely abstract. Totally up to you. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish gluing these down, and I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful Howardina Pindell inspired um, circle pieces on your dojo portfolios. Yeah.